Stan Jibalisco here from the black holes of Dakota Toritary, United States of Adverse Weather. Uh, we've had a relatively cool summer so far, if you can, it isn't even calendar summer yet, so I'm perhaps speaking prematurely. And the day may yet come when we here in the black holes of Dakota Toritary look back with fondness on these days when the highs are in the 40s and 50s, uh, for the most part. <laughs> Not always. It was 92 in Spearfish the other day, but it got me to thinking. <clears throat> I remember reading in the old Farmer's Almanac once about the cold summer of 1816. Now, if you ever think you've had a cold summer in your life, read any link that has to do with this phrase. Type it in your Google search engine phrase box. Cold summer of 1816. And see whether you've ever experienced anything like that. The point is, it could happen again. It was caused by a massive volcanic eruption, Mount Tambora. At least that's the agreement nowadays. So read up about it and live your life in dread. <laughs> or maybe some of you right now would prefer to see a, a, a frost that kills all of your crops rather than heat that could kill you and your kids. Well, uh, one thing about climate change, well, it has nothing to do with this. Uh, this uh, cold summer of 1816 had nothing to do with climate change caused by humanity. It was caused by a volcanic eruption. And, uh, like I said, it could happen again in a year. All manner of terrible things could happen to us. But, as I don't live my life in dread of sharks when I swim in the ocean here in South Dakota, neither do I dread another cold summer like that. We've had enough warm winters here. Last winter was a relatively warm one and a dry one. So maybe it's about time we caught up. Who knows? The jet stream, however, is more erratic because of global warming. I think they've pretty well established that. So we could shift from freezing cold to broiling hot in a matter of a couple of days, anywhere in the United States. The warm weather in the eastern half of the United States leads me to forecast that hurricanes this year will probably head into the Gulf of Mexico more than the Atlantic coastline. But we shall see. If it gets cold enough, of course, <laughs> There won't be any hurricanes anymore. Or will there be more? Stan Jubilisco signing off. Until next time. So long. <laughs>